Okay, so I think this is, um, I think these stories are basically viruses. Um, which is kind of like why I don't really like to watch watch the news or, um, I mean, I'm even guilty of actually looking at this stuff, but um, this story here, uh, a woman from NASA, of all places, uh, talks about having sex with a dolphin during her uh, experimentation. And to me, the most one of the more striking things about this is that there's no, um, not not even an attempt um, to call this disgusting or or have any com- condemnation uh, toward a woman that I mean has sex with dolphins. To me, that's kind of sick. Um, and they go on to kind of normalize this, and I think uh, part of the intent of these stories is to. Uh, turn the abnormal normal. So when, um, and I think this is part of the the conditioning of, you know, let's see how much how much um, how much you, these people will take. Um, because I you know I I see it passed around as a joke and and like you know no one's taking this seriously, but um, very very strange. The dolphin's name is Peter, you know, ha ha. Um, this is just a really, really, really weird, weird story. And I think the, the like I said, it's to normalize the abnormal. Um, they they try kind of treat uh, the dolphin like he was a human being. I mean, yeah, they, they, they basically uh, give him some uh, human uh, characteristics and uh, legitimize this relationship between this woman and a dolphin and even they even go so far as to say you know sexual acts between uh, dolphins and humans have a history this is really 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 sick stuff um to me it is i mean maybe you're into that i don't know i'm not um and here and they talk about another author named uh, Malcolm Brenner who wrote a book called uh, Wet, Wet Goddess who had a nine-month sexual relationship with a dolphin. And again, nine-month, well, if you're into that 369 stuff, there's, there's that. But the nine-month um, pregnancy period, you know, it kind of represents. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I, yeah, I did. I did. The, the, to me, the dolphin is a metaphor for a human being. Um, but you, you have the nine month sexual relationship. Um, and then, uh, there's a, I guess there's research being done on, on a, on delphinophiles. Again, more legitimizing of sex with animals and dolphins. Um, the delphinophiles are humans that are sexually attracted to dolphins. Great. Um, and then, and it shows that some uh, there are some studies that have also found evidence that male dolphins are attracted to women because they give off similar pheromones, similar pheromones to female do- do- dolphins. So it's again that bridge of you know the human to the to the animal. And um, also, I think um, you know I was working on uh, a video a while back because yeah, I know I go into these very strange areas but um my other thought was that i think there's an attempt to normalize uh chimera like human beings in the sense that um uh, i think they're going to be doing a lot of well i'm sure they're already doing it well actually i know they're already doing it because there are books on it from the 60s uh, talking about building uh, human chimeras and experimentation of chimera, uh, which is you know uh, mixing of two different uh, types of uh, being or uh, creatures, animals or animals. So I, I'm sure that uh, with DNA manipulation and things like that, uh, we will see more chimera-like. You know, I mean, you've got that. Um, well, I <laughs> don't. Uh, I don't know if I want to bring up the the other type of being that some people say, but 
I'll, I'll say that I, I think the phenomena is authentic. Um, I don't think they're aliens, though. I'll say I'll, that's all I'll say about that. But anyway, um, some people don't like to talk about them. But anyway, um, yeah. So this other guy, the guy that wrote the book, uh, the wet goddess. Of course, there's an article with him. He comes out and talk, and now he's coming out of the closet. So it's like this whole. You don't have to be ashamed if you've had sex with animals. Just come out of the closet. Uh, if you want to screw your dolphin or your dog, come on out. Um, so, oh, so yeah. So I guess the reason they had the nine-month relationship was the the um, the dolphin died with the the, the guy Malcolm Brenner, and uh, <laughs> and he says he was heartbroken. Really, whatever. I mean. And then, oh, he also had sex with a dog. Well, okay, that's okay, too. Really? So, uh, ay, ay, ay. Okay, so I guess, you know, this is, all right, so I'm, I'm kind of, <laughs> I, I read this story before, but I'm looking at it again and just trying to point out some things. Um, oh, and so, yeah, so now this guy's kind of advertising sex with dolphins. He's saying, you know, there's something quite transcendental about making love with a dolphin, really. The dolphin is very aware. The dolphin is an intelligent and cre creative creature, and making love is a consummate act. Yeah, sure, I mean, sure, the dolphins are intelligent, but that doesn't mean you have to screw them. I mean, who knows if this, these stories are even true? Um, I mean, there is all that talk about hoax. And... I think a lot of these things are to kind of raise the gullibility um, index, so that when they tell their their when they hit you with the 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 the, the whammy, you just fall for it. Because there are a lot of stories like this, like these strange, and they're getting stranger and stranger every day. So, um, I think that's all I have to say about this. But this is really some very strange, strange stuff. Anyway. Uh, that's it. Leave some comments if you want. All right, bye.